One, two. All right. So, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Hold Out of TJ here. Uh, all of you are aware that for the past couple of days, there have been protests and uh, uh, riots uh, starting off from George Floyd and the inhumane way he was inevitably killed. Uh, I just wanted to tell a little bit of my part of how I feel and how what my understanding is of it and what my views are on the situation because it's literally been bothering me even though not much like not much really that like y'all might not see I don't know, there's, it's so confusing and it's ridiculous, really. So, how I feel about it is, like, um, there had, like, there are a bunch of people out there really trying, and that for today, which is June 1st, uh, it's 3.50 in the morning, I'm up, uh, there's a protest going on where I'm at today, and I plan on going. And to see all these other people doing their protests the way we should be doing it. But then there are these other people who take advantage of the situation. And I know you all have seen them and I know that it's all over Twitter. That's where I get most of my information from. And it's really bothering me because I don't understand why people feel the need to do all these things. Maybe they could steal a TV or a game system or something like that but a lot of the people who are stealing aren't even really with our protest and they just wanted to take take stuff for their own benefit and that what they don't realize is that that's hurting us there have been so many good people giving their opinions on this topic and I love to see it and I love to see people spreading it and for the riots that are hurting black businesses to see that there have been uh, people who are, I think it's a GoFundMe or something like that, who are basically going to be re, uh, like they're going to be able to get their money back for the things that uh, affected them. And I'm not saying that it's OK for it as long as they're getting their money. I'm just saying that we've been uh, the black community as a whole have been doing peaceful protesting for a long time. And to hear people also complain about how. What did you think writing was going to fix? Well, it's like, what else are we supposed to do? And it also doesn't make sense for us to destroy our own communities. But sometimes you're not able to control your emotions to the, like to pinpoint exactly where you should be taking these actions towards. But it's just so much to take in and seeing all these people in all these situations and all these all these people who are part of uh and it's it's not even like that we have to be a separated community it's just that the system itself has divided us into uh the black community in which we have to let each other know that yeah we're different even though it's something as simple as the color of our skin which doesn't make any sense it's really they really are out here acting like just because my melanin is different, that I don't have the same two hands, the same two feet, a brain, the same two ears, the same two eyes as the rest of you should and or do. And it's so disappointing to see all these people who are actually just like, uh, of course, there are the always going to be the all lives matter versus the black lives matter. And there have been plenty of discussion over that about how it's not really that we're saying our lives matter only. It's that we're saying our, ma our lives matter also because right now we're being treated as though they don't. Uh, it just it just had bothered me for a minute and I really was wondering if I should even state my opinion on this 
and I'm definitely 100% with the movement. I'm glad to see all these people out here actually protesting. And it's so sad to see that the news, but you know what? That's what gets them views. It's so sad to see that the news puts out only the bad parts and the riots and don't show the good parts where the people are just like, for example, there were people laying down, putting their hands behind the back saying, I can't breathe. I can't breathe, showing them that this is a better way to do it instead of just going and rioting. And now they're putting a curfew up in order to just, I'm pretty sure it's just to split up our people and uh, just tell us basically to shut up. And that's not going to work. As you can see, a lot of people are still out past it. And a lot of people have been arrested. There was even this recent video of the police officers to, uh, multiple not even two of and there was this uh i'm pretty sure there were a couple in the car and then they just dragged them out for no reason they were trying to get past the crowd i'm pretty sure and then just got the woman got yelled at she had to get out the car and then they tased the dude who was next to her for a whole he tased them a whole bunch and yanked them out the car and being overly aggressive for no reason broke broken windows and all but uh, I was just, I just felt as though it would be right to let y'all know where I stand in this and show y'all that I'm also trying to do stuff out here. Um, it's just so sad to see that I keep repeating myself. It is, it just is. It's just so sad to see that this is what it has to come to in order for us to get basic human rights and for them to pretty much stop killing us to we still got to see if this even works because if not it's only going to get worse but yeah so there's this there's just a bunch of stuff happening and i hope it gets better but there's also some other things i wanted to talk about which are pretty much on a lighter note so i pretty much let y'all know how i feel about all that but what's also going on in these riots are some pretty crazy things and uh i might try and put clips of them in here and it's basically like there are, there are always going to be some clowns or something to try and joke around when it's a serious situation but in 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 a like in a matter in like some other shape or form it's okay sometimes to joke around to take a little bit of the seriousness away and to have a little bit of fun and what I'm talking about is, say, for example, uh, actually, first off, I'm going to before I get to the funny stuff, it's a little bit of something that was really cool that happened. Uh, the Amish people that pulled up and y'all all know that they was trending on Twitter. The people who don't even care, like who are uh, super religious and do not mess with technology, which is completely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just the fact that they even see that there's something wrong going on and they came out there and had stood with us was so cool to me. It was so cool to see that. But uh, besides that, they're, uh, so they are standing with us. And this is where it starts to get a little funny. Uh, what was it? There was this group had called the, the, who were acting basically like witches. I'm not sure if they were being serious or not, but they had also joined in. I might put a picture of that in here. Uh so we had the Amish, we had witches, then we had this uh, random guy walk up dressed as Batman, <laughs> and that would that had me laughing. That I was so I was like it was like I was sick in a funny way at the, like at the same time I was like why are you doing this? So there's this guy who walked up dressed as Batman into a crowd. So we had the Amish, we had uh, Batman, and we had the witches, and then. We had a couple, uh, we had like two others, I can't remember. Uh, I might just put it up here, but I also remember there was a guy who had an Elmo hat on, or helmet on, and that was funny. But what, basically, there's just always going to be these group. it's just these people who just like to make jokes out of stuff. Even though it's supposed to be a serious situation every now and then, it's okay to see sometimes people trying to make a little bit of light out of it. <laughs> It was just funny to see that, so that was cool. Um, a little bit, actually. One second, actually. One second. I'm about to. I'm about to see. My camera's gonna go out, but uh, I'm about to see 
what that other group was. I'm really, I really want to see what it was because I'm pretty sure it was pretty important. There it is. Okay. 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 So the other group was the uh, anonymous. They pulled up. And before this, I didn't even know who Anonymous was. Like, yeah, they were popular back then, and I think I heard a little bit of it, but I had no clue who this group was. And then they pull up here talking about how they about to wreck, how they about to tear some shit up. And that really was like, wow. And then people were so excited for it, and I was like, is this group serious? And then they were like, how they were explaining how they've exposed things in the, few, uh, in the past. And that was uh, really, f like... I want to say funny, but cool at the same time to see. And people were making jokes about like, it was like, dang, y'all even had anonymous pull back up. I was like, dang, it's that serious of a group. And I was like, yeah, it was just so it was like funny to see. So it's it's more than obvious now about how uh, the black community have been treated by the police. And even there, there are still some racists too that are also like besides the police. There are still some racists in the regular community that just aren't police, but they're still able to run around and feel as though they can do what they want and treat us in any way they feel like. It. But besides that, that was just something also that I had saw, which was really funny that anonymous had pulled up. Uh, yeah, there was also uh. So one of the people, let's see, what should I say that there? Okay. I'm going to go with that one first. So there was also this one random, uh, I don't know where it was, but there was these bunch of people on this truck, not a truck. It was a car and they're, uh, they're all pretty much black. I think there's one white person with them and then they're just driving down with the black lives matter signs and cheering on other people and stuff. And then there's this one white guy on the corner and I'm pretty sure he said F you and to the black guys. And I'm pretty sure he was racist or something. But then they all heard it and they looked at him crazy and got off the car. And I'm pretty sure he had also called him the N word. But besides that, they had also walked up on him. And, <laughs> and, all the, and I, I love Twitter because the people in the comments just don't have a filter. So he had, the guys had walked up on him and, and they all didn't walk up on him. It was just this one specific dude. But they were kind of behind him. And he walked up to him. And as you see, like, right before the dude takes a step back to just full on punch the hell out of this dude, he kind of has his hands on the black guy and is like, hold on. Uh, and then the people get in the comments like and it was at this moment that he knew he the And it was just so funny to see because people just don't care at certain points of time. Also, there is this guy dressed up as the Joker running around. I'm pretty sure I've seen two people dressed up as the Joker, the newest one just walking around town and people making jokes about how this is the sort of chaos that the Joker movie was doing and stuff like that. And I was like, well, it's not wrong in a matter of speaking, because somebody had also correlated this situation with uh, the Joker movie and about how lower class of people are not lower class, like are people are basically being treated different than uh, they're being discriminated against. Basically, sorry, I had some in my chest. So they are able to uh, relate those two things. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of true. So that was that was just uh, something else that I saw.